Do you want my cable? Hey everybody, welcome to 42 Gear Street Tree. I'm here with Lee Fuse, the man himself, from Hello. your channel. From my channel, yes. You should have just watched the video on Lee's channel. If you haven't, then when you finish this, you can watch that and then come back and watch this again, you know. We have two guitars. We do. You, you have the, what have you got, Ibanez? This is the Ibanez AZES, which is the new, oh, the AZES 40 is the exact model number. Uh, this is like a very affordable version of the Ibanez a A Z series, and the E S stands for Essentials. There's a lot of letters in there that really cross letters. over. A lot of vowels as well. Yeah, we had a little bit of that. yeah. And I'm Welsh. We don't, we yeah, you don't, don't like use vowels. vowels in Wales. We don't use vowels at all in Wales. So, <laughs> so this is a challenge for me. It's the opposite of the Welsh language. <laughs> I have got the Yamaha Pacifica 112 VM. So they're both Strat style guitars. They both got trams. They both got humbuckers at the bridge. They both got a master volume and master tone mm -hmm. and a five-way switch. Lee has the alter switch. Yes. Which gives you different pickup configurations. Ibanez, of course, have looked at the market and said, "Our AZ line is rocking. Mm -hmm. Let's give something to players that want to spend around three hundred euros. So that's three hundred and twenty-nine euros. Yes. This is also around the three hundred euro mark. Let's just switch for a minute." and see which one feels, because we've just oh, used wow. his guitar. First impressions. Nice, it's ch like similar neck profile, chunky. Yeah. This well, feels like harder. Yeah. That's the right adjective for this. The wood feels harder. I mean, you could turn the guitar on, you've got the cable. I, right? I could, so. yeah, I could. So both knocking around the same price mm. point. Already, um, if you're thinking, oh, I don't know which one to get, which one sounds best, they both sound pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm very impressed with both of these. The Pacificas are cool because like you said, they're sort of like a modern classic. Yeah. And I think people always underestimate how good a Pacifica can be because I think they've always been historically banded in with like entry level guitars. But you get Pacificas like right up to like yeah. 12, 1400 pound. Like you get the custom shop ones, which are on par with anything really. But yeah, even this one, the, the 112, is fantastic for the money. So I totally agree. This is a newcomer on the market. Mm. Let's split it into several categories of comparison. First, right. looks, okay? Because okay. no matter what we say, everybody needs to love the look of their guitar. Yeah, and that's what we look at. When we post pictures on our social medias, people say, ooh, that looks nice. Mm. Maybe they don't say that, but let's let's have a look. <laughs> I've got a close-up camera here that I've just learned exists. Pick up. Can you put yours in the sort of same angle behind me? There we go. Um, well, not not behind, behind, like so they like, can still like see. Like that? It. Or... No, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, and forward a bit, so they can see the body. That's it. <laughs> right. Pick guard shape <clears throat> is very stratty. Of course, the Ibanez doesn't go all the way here. It's more A Z like. I prefer when a pick guard goes to the to the lower horn. Mm. Um, but the overall look is, mm, as my mum would say, much of a muchness. Yeah, they're very similar. Um, so they both look like strats. That one is definitely bigger in yes, size. It's it is bigger, it's more angled. There's an angle here rather than a rounding of the body. I don't know if that's showing up because it's a very... Yeah, there you go. Oh, there, there, we go. go. there we go. So mine is yours is like a beveled angle. Mine is more curvaceous. Yes. Um, which is a word. Then of course I've got a Jatoba fretboard, probably the biggest noticeable difference apart from the color of the body. And this Jatoba fretboard um, smells very much like the roasted fretboards of the of the uh, the Ibanez AZ Big Brothers and Sisters. I've not sniffed an AZ yet, so. Yeah, right, have, a, have a bang on that. Oh yeah, wonderful. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> nice. Um, so looks, uh, the I'd say the. The biggest difference is possibly on the back from looks, which also goes into the technical part. The Ibanez has, uh, what would we call that? The cutaway? The like the neck heel. Neck heel contour. Yeah. That's the one. That's a, yeah, so, that's uh, nice easy thing. access, high access, or whatever. The I, the um, uh, Yamaha, the Yamaha thank you. 112. Thank you. Doesn't have it. So that's, <laughs> that's a much standard more traditional. Block. Yeah. Traditional. That's the good old squared off hand filler. What do we think? Let's move on. So we've done body. Um, let's do headstock. That's important to people. Mm. Headstock is there's the Ibanez AZ headstock, and you've got the Pacifica headstock. Yeah, that's the same headstock Pacifica have been using forever, really. 
it, it's sort of becoming iconic with the brand now, isn't it? It's sort of almost Strat, like almost like yeah. It's all it's like a slim down Fender, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I was trying to avoid saying the brand name then, but you oh, went you went and bulldozed straight in there. So that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> straight in, son. <laughs> um, so looks wise, they both look very, very, very similar. There's just those attention to details that are different. This um, is slightly different to the the standard Ibanez headstock as well. Yes. they've rounded off the that's rounded, edge yeah. a bit more. Is like that. One? Well, it's the AZ. That's the AZ yeah. um, thing. There is another Ibanez. The prestige. There, yeah, that there we go. That purple one. So that headstock's got a bit more pointed. This isn't as pointed. It's more more vintagey, more yeah. more appealing to a wider range of people, should we yeah. say? Okay, so looks. Which one do you prefer, Lee? You know? I would lean to that. This is nice, and I like the sort of slightly shell pink, would you call that? It looks white on the camera, but it is kind of pink. There is a pink. Like an pink antique to it. Olympics. Yeah. I don't know. I think I prefer the, the vibe of the Ibanez. Um, very narrowly, but yeah, the Ibanez is slightly winning for me. Just I, I like that the pickups are mounted completely on the pick guard on that. Yeah. It's a minor stupid guitar thing but yeah is it because though lee is it because it's new is it because are you looking at it because i'm going to agree with you i mm. i prefer the looks of the az es but is it because it's new is it, is it like new and shiny i guess for me more more so it's that it looks more vintage right like i i think this looks more contemporary because you've yes. got the humbucker surround yes. the pots are off the plate Whereas that to me looks like a vintage guitar, which is more in line with my guitar tastes. And that looks like someone's hot rodded a Strat? Yes. Okay. I like them both. However, mm -hmm. the angle on here, I, I prefer the, 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 the contour. So for looks, for me, the Ibanez wins. Yeah. And I think Lee's gonna agree there. Let's talk yeah. about the technical side. Um, we've got, as we said, the, the switch. The only difference really in electronics and um, features is the altar switch just here uh, on the Ibanez, which does the different switching pickup configuration. Uh, there's some really good sound samples of that on Lee's video if you want to go and check out the sounds because uh, we're not going to you know, go over it twice, that'd be silly. You just pop up at Lee's channel. <laughs> um, how does your switch feel? Because I often feel the five way switch is the mark of the quality of the guitar. Pretty good. May I? Yeah. Yeah, that's more, I think that one's more clicky. Yes, the Ibanez switch feels softer. A softer, so... I think the Ibanez switch is bigger as well. Feels like yes, there's more travel in There's the more switch. travel space. And it's this one's deeper in. Might not mean much to, to some of you, but to me, when I'm playing live, mm. I quite like a nice click, so I know where I am. Yeah, I agree. Um, and sometimes I would... You know, I mean, I generally switch from from the bridge to the neck anyway, and, mm. and order to the fourth position. But I need to know where it is, and especially if I'm singing or, or doing something else, yeah. I want to rely on it. From a from a, a gigging perspective, I like it when the switch has got quite a bit of resistance yes. because when you're sort of strumming away, if well, I did it then. If it's a soft switch, you know, I've changed pick up there, yeah. and I'm not even really hitting the guitar hard. I'm just general All right. strumming. Lee, let's talk knobs. Let's let's talk knobs. We've already talked about the harder and deeper switch on that, that one so is why super not? loose. That is super loose. Maybe it just, maybe it just goes to like 15 or something. No. <laughs> oh! 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 What did you just do? I, I didn't break it. Hang on ah, a minute, everybody. <laughs> we've unlocked a new feature. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We have ourselves a coil split, everybody. So that now could compete with, even though this isn't a coil split, it, there's an extra switching feature there. Yeah. So we're actually now pretty much on par, even though this does something slightly different. What if it does something different, you know, when I switch the pickups? Hang on, let's uh, turn the volume on. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Do you know what it feels like when you've like finished your bag of sweets and you ac you actually find one more sweet down at the bottom? The hidden, yeah. right at the bottom of the oh, bag. Oh, it's in the crease. <laughs> It's just humbucker. Yeah, that's just the problem. Like. A 
Okay, so we've got closer to the AZ, but yeah. the AZ has more switching options. Yes. The auto switch does more, but that is a great feature. Mm. Um, I'm not a big fan of, of pull push, again, from the mm. live perspective, but it's good to have it. Um, the Pacific I, I'd has just gone up. I switch, personally. Yeah, me too. Let's talk about the build quality. Right. Lee, are there any issues with your guitar currently? Um, nothing that I can see off the bat. Obviously, this is uh, brand new. Obviously, Dan set these up for us before the video. Uh, other than the, in my video, we played around with the, the vintage trem on this and it went slightly flat. But I think that's literally just, it's a brand new guitar. Yeah. This may even not be a production model. This might even be a pre-production model. So I imagine if there are any issues with the trem, Ibanez will have fixed that by the time the the real thing comes out. Let's just say that there weren't um, any issues. I did really have a yeah. blast on it. Yeah, that. and he did really give it some as well. Let's do the same on the so. Pacifica, okay? Can I have a bit more drive? Is that that one, is yeah, it? That one. So the same kind of thing. Same thing. Flat. I think this one's gone more out of tune than than the Ibanez, but we're not being fair though. That was unruly use of yeah. the trim system. Yes. Um, and even on, a, even on a guitar, we touched upon this in my video as well, even on a guitar in this price point, just because the trim might go flat out of the box, it's not necessarily a negative reflection on the trim. It's easy to set up a guitar like this to stay in tune perfectly with, you know, plenty of tram abuse. Absolutely. Uh, it was mainly the low E string that went out and it actually mm. went flat. Um, the other thing we didn't talk about, uh, tuning, tuning. I've tuned both of them. Yeah. Just the same. They're both in tune. They're it's both the, in they're standard both in, tuning. In, 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 no, what I mean is the, the tuning experience. <laughs> tuning experience. Come on. <laughs> tuning experience is, is kind of is the same. Is that like the Jimi Hendrix experience? Yeah, but it's a tuning. really bad tribute band. Um, the tuning experience was kind of the same. I'll go again, if you are saying, oh, I really like the look of that one more, don't worry about the, 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 the tuning mm. side. Yeah. What I will say is if you are new to guitars or if you're buying a guitar for a person who is new to guitars, I would never recommend to get one with a trem system because I did, <laughs> I had one. And I was, of course, you know, I, I take trem bars off my guitars most mm. of the time because I'm too tempted to do what I just did. Um, that being said, it, you know, it performed nicely. Yeah. Sound wise, let's go to Lee Fuge to play through the pickups and then do exactly the same with the same timing, same notes, same feel, same dynamics with the Yamaha Pacifica. So Ibanez up first. Can you just play us through some of the pickup configurations? Yep. Yeah. Don't, don't bother with the auto switch at the moment. Clean or drive? Um, give us some clean. Some clean. Oops. <laughs> are very welcome on this channel. Uh, thank you. Let's now do something similar, please, Lee, with the Yamaha Pacifica 112. Did I start with the neck pickup? You did. Yeah.
As a non-player, as the listener, I think the Yamaha is brighter. Mm. Yeah. Uh, not that this is dark. It's just there was a noticeable, I think, shift in the upper frequencies. Yes. What do you think? I agree. Um, to me, as my personal tonal preferences, I don't like that additional brightness. I actually prefer the slightly more rounded off sound. Um, but yeah, it sounds great. It kind of sounds a bit more... I can't really think of the word I'm looking for you. There's definitely more attack to the notes, yep. especially on like the yep. neck pickup. Just move for a sec. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I prefer the sound of the Yamaha. No. The Yabanez, sorry, I said the wrong word. <laughs> it wasn't important which word I the said. The Yabanez. Then. The Yabanez. I prefer the Ibanez sound. And now we're going to swap the necks on both guitars. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a driver! <laughs> driver, please! Oh, what, what does that mean? Oh, that means the monitor TV that we're, gonna, we're watching ourselves on is going to switch itself off oh, in a okay. second. That doesn't affect the recording, you can't see that. Um, so sound-wise, I think they're both good, great. Yeah. They do not sound cheap. There's nothing cheap about either of these guitars. No. They're not entry-level guitars. No, absolutely There are not. a few steps above that. Um, both are good. Both are really great if you're new to guitar or you want mm. something that's a little uh, more affordable. There seems to be someone at the curtain. Who could it be? It seems to be a young man with a remote control. And he's turned the telly off. Anyway, <laughs> um, he'll be in the, fr in the frame in a minute. He, he doesn't talk, apparently. Do you want to say hello? Hello? <laughs> Leave us a message in the comments section <laughs> to tell us who you think that person is. Uh, yeah, I, Lee, I'm going to say that it comes to a personal preference. If you want a more modern sound, yeah, Pacifica. Yeah. <laughs> if you want something more vintagey, Ibanez. Yes. Are we going I, with that? I agree with that, and I think feel-wise, that is the same sort of yeah. idea there. This has more of like a warning feel yeah. for a 300 euro guitar, whereas that feels like super tight, very yeah. new. And again, it, that's down to personal preference of the person buying and trying it. For me, I prefer the slightly more worn-in feel of, of this one. I want to throw a Squire in this mix at some point. We haven't got one here, but at some point in the future, I would love to because I now have, I think, a new two favorite mm. affordable 300 euro guitars. Yeah. What do you think, Lee? I agree. This this is fantastic. I'm, I'm really interested. And so is this. That, I, mean, so I, mean, that, I know yeah. this is new and shiny and wonderful, but the Pacifica, I've fallen in love with it again. Let's just do weight, sorry. Handy person. Hangs just changed the tune of that. <laughs> Secret person. Secret, Secret person. person. I think the Yamaha is heavier, but that's in my left arm, so. <laughs> just bench pressing some guitars there. <laughs> that's lighter, yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah, Yamaha, but the Yamaha body's definitely bigger. So, all right, everybody, um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Henning Pauly, wherever he is, for organizing 42 Gear Street number three. If you want to find more Gear Street quality content, <laughs> I was going to say content, then. I'm very often. Content. content. There's the new word. It's, it's not quality content, it's content. just content. Um, then you've got to follow the hashtag 42GSTHREE, -E, 42GS3, and you will find videos such as Lee's, in which we also talk about these guitars. Videos such as, I don't know, from John Brown, Jamie Humphreys, um, Mike. Other people. Other people. Everyone. Everyone's doing Maybe videos. even Henning. We don't know. Wherever he is. So thank you for watching. Um, there are more videos of me and possibly Lee over, just over there, Lee. Cause we're at, yeah, that's it. Right there, okay. look. Uh, go and click those and um, love the companies that sponsor the event. So there's going to be some cars where you can see who helped make this content possible. We'll see you soon. Lee, thank you so much. Thanks for having me as always. Always a pleasure. Ta-da! <laughs> Cheers, bye-bye.